Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. And today we are going, or I am going to, my first ever Euros game. Italy versus Albania tonight at 9 p.m. Yesterday we saw the Germans absolutely wallop the Scots. And we're looking forward to going to the game today. Zach and I have got a big day planned, however, though. It's not just built around going to the game tonight. We are going to the German Football Museum now. Then we're going to a fan zone uh, event for the Hungary Switzerland game. And then we'll make our way to the Italy Albania again. So big day planned. We're gonna take you guys along with us and we'll see how we get on. Kickoff's not for another six and a half hours. So Zach and I are on our way walking to the Signal Eduna Park where, let me tell you, there are a lot of Albanians. Obviously a very big Albanian influence in Germany and you can really tell that today and you can really tell how important this game is to the Albanians because it is their second time ever featuring in a major competition. They featured in the 2016 Euros, and now they're featuring in the 2024 Euros. So, can we get a score prediction? One all. Zach, upset. Zach really does expect an upset today, and I tell you what, there's a lot of pressure on the Italians today because obviously they won last Euros, and I feel like their squad just isn't as good. That being said, uh, I can see it probably going in favour of the Italians, but a low scoring affair. Italy have only scored five goals in their past five international games, and Albania have got a pretty solid defence. So I'm going to say 1-0 Italy. Let's hope it's a good game. <laughs> Made it. We're here all the way from Australia. We're in Germany for the Euros. Wow, what a gorgeous stadium.
has sort of settled down the past 10 minutes, but Zach and I have been saying, Italy are basically attacking with 10 men. That's how deep the Albania is sitting at home. Italy is bringing people forward, and they basically have options left, right, and centre. Albania also keeping very, very tight in defence, leaving options out wide. You can't be doing that. At least try to absorb a bit of pressure, but then go on the counter-attack. Be aggressive. Don't be afraid, because a team like Italy, they're just going to nullify that easily now they've got a lead at the moment. So, if I'm Albania, you do want to be a bit more aggressive at the moment. Still a long time to play though. Fan, I would have felt quite heartbroken. So half time, 2-1 Italy. If there's anything I've got to say, I think Albania were a little bit conservative after they conceded that first one. Like you've got, you've got one nil up, attack, put the pressure on, on Italy still. And they sort of just sat back, invited Italy to build into the game, and now it's 2 1. But still a long way to go. I think they were a little bit better towards the end of that half. And I'm hoping to see a 2 2 because Italy and uh, Albania are attacking on, on this end in the second half. And boy, let me tell you. 50,000 Albanian fans right here today, they would absolutely love that. Albania have got the ball this half. Italy have been forcing him back and forcing him back. All of a sudden, one long ball. They have a big chance. Problem is, we're at 90 minutes now. Look at this for content guys this is the way how i'm going to end off the video shirtless in the airbnb because i've just ran back five kilometers from the signal laduna park 
just so I could hopefully get this video out a little bit sooner for you guys. Some people may call it autism, other people may call it dedication. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the match day vlog. Seriously, incredibly worth my time and money. Albania have an incredible fan base in Germany. 50,000 Albanians were at that game tonight, supposedly, and boy, could you hear them. I sort of wish they, they sort of tried to penetrate Italy's defense a little bit more in the second half because Italy sort of were just happy holding the ball and they didn't really uh, look like scoring much in the second half. But either way, to go 1-0 up against the reigning champions and to only lose by one goal, Albania deserve a lot of respect. And I hope, I hope that they can uh, somehow scrape something out of this uh, group of death, as they're calling it. Uh, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed the match day vlog. This time tomorrow, I'll be doing England-Serbia, so keep your eyes up for that. Obviously, these videos won't be as edited. However, uh, I'm getting them out as soon as possible for you guys, so hopefully I can sort of compromise it uh, with doing that. Uh, but if you guys are new and watching this, please feel free to like, subscribe, do that sort of stuff if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you all in another video. Take care. Peace.